So I'm continuing to do my work to find out all I can about Metroid Prime 4. I'm the guy who would break into Retro Studios and see what's going on. I will pose as the water cooler there and get to know all the conversations. I'll know everything going on, I'll be that guy. But while I'm still working on my water cooler disguise, I am stuck here doing all the research I can. Which, well, I ain't a pal for news organization, I am just a dude spewing information into a microphone. Which, honestly, most professional news companies do that as well. So we are no different. So then we gotta look for some reliable sources. And there isn't anyone more reliable than the harddrive.net. If you're looking for the truth, you don't need to look much farther than the hard drive, which isn't a hard thing to do. They are the website behind very important articles, like how they highlighted Bernie Sanders wanting Animal Crossing to come out sooner with the pandemic looming. These guys are great at it. They always ask the hard questions and get the answers the fans desire. They asked Doug Bowser himself, who should be doing hard time because his name is literally the bad guy in the Mario franchise. And they asked him about some details of Metro Prime 4. He responded with, na 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 I can hear you, and twirled his fingers in his ears, pressing them hard to ensure they were shut. Now this is actually some key information, although I can't exactly confirm which scenario it is. Is Doug trying to avoid the question, or is he implying that Samus will have a hard time hearing in the upcoming games and will require hearing aids? It is hard to tell. The hard drive dug deeper as well than what we can fully expect. They are the ones who are calling out GameStop for staying open during COVID because they want more people to sign up for their Power Up Rewards memberships versus the corporate greed of one Animal Crossing and Doom sales. And then we bailed them out by fucking the stock very hard, which was actually quite a fun meme last year. They went and asked Retro Studios about it and it seems like Nintendo just kind of gave them the game. I mean, Retro seemed to be really busy and it was going to be hard to fit in their schedule. So naturally, management agreed to accept in the game. The hard drive has even more details though. I mean, how could you be surprised? They were the ones who broke the news about the new Devil Dinosaur Marvel movie coming out. That must have been hard information to get but I'm extremely excited for the crossover of Jurassic Park and Hellboy. It sounds like the number 4 can also mean death in Japanese, so Nintendo decided it was a sign to kill the game and not actually tell anyone. You know, that theory doesn't sound like complete bullshit to be honest. See, so yeah, a very, very good information found and reported on the harddrive.net. They even dug further and found more details and actually learned about a Pokemon Sex Island game. Why am I talking about Pokemon Sex? Isn't it like an Eve for everyone game? They wouldn't really have sex in this game, would they? This is not making sense. Maybe this article's satire. 